Where to begin? Assuming that time is linear, I imagine a line that has a starting point and an end point. In the context of education, learning and teaching, and graduation in particular, many people will assume that this line and its specific starting point will start to unfold in front of them. But how do you determine the origin of this line and know when it starts? When I ask these questions, in the light of the graduation exhibition called The Beginning, I can only draw from my own memories and experiences. My origins are characterized by my decision to study at this Academy of Fine Arts. It was this decision that determined my position and what it represented in society. I chose to study something different, a choice that many of the people I knew thought was whimsical, as if I'd consigned myself to a life of uncertainty. Looking back now, I wonder whether this road really was so uncertain and whimsical. And in that perspective, I ask myself the question, what have I learned during my time at this academy, which has been my second home for six years? The answer is inextricably linked to the proposition that time is something that moves in a linear fashion, that it has an origin and an end. I was taught to ask questions, look at things critically, observe them closely, and think about how to create possibilities and embrace them, even if I can't yet contemplate these possibilities. Question. Could it be that time has no form, that the duration of time is both now and then, a form that has no beginning nor end, a place where everything and everyone comes together simultaneously, a place of possibilities? Change is happening all the time, and ideas that stand the test of time are rare. I would like to invite you to chase after these ideas, break away from this current time, and bring us something new.